Bintouk, the capital of Namibia, will be a boss as international acclaimed scientists, professors and researchers gather to place the most important sector in any society under the magnifying glass to search for solutions and deliberate on issues surrounding the reality of climate change and agriculture. Food security and the risk of job losses can be all covered under one blanket. Although Namibia consists of mostly arid and semi-arid regions combined with unpredictable rainfall, the agricultural sector still lacks knowledge and training to be fully productive. We know there are more or less 7,000 commercial farmers. There may be as many as 100,000 communal farmers. The difference between the two is the commercial farmers normally farm on private land. So they have control over the management and over their resources and the communal farmers farm in an open access system. These farmers are served by a mere 250 professional extension officers. That's one for a thousand farmers. Minister of Agriculture John Matorwa did not mince his words when it came to Namibian farmers who are not up to scratch when they are supposed to be the food producers of the country. He specifically touched on value adding. Employment incomes that they get will enable them to operate more effectively as consumers of goods and services by buying what they could otherwise not have bought. The producers of these goods and services will also be enabled to have the incentive to hire even more people so that they can produce more of the products. Once started, value addition becomes a self-sustaining process. The conference is taking place at the University of Namibia's facilities and will come to an end on Thursday.